Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can add an AI voiceover with inbuilt functions. We'll just create a text element and then type in our text. You can just copy paste it, for example, or a Word document. But be aware that there is a character limit in these text elements. I'll show you how to deal with that later. The appearance doesn't matter, so you can size it up, down, whatever you want to do. We're going to delete it afterwards anyway. Just make sure that this element is selected in the timeline. So you want to left click on it if it isn't. Then go up here to text to speech. Be aware that some of these features are pro, but there are free ones. For example, here this British male automated storyteller. This is a test to show how the AI voice over works. If you left click on it, you're going to hear a preview. It reads kind of like the first two or three seconds, I believe, of the text element that's selected. And when you're fine with this voice style, just go to start reading. It's going to get processed. And once it's done, you have this audio clip of your text element. So this is the text. Let me play it. This is a test to show how the AI voice over works. And there you go. This is how easy you can do that. Afterwards, you can just delete the text element. But as I've said, if you reach the character limit for this text element, let us just copy paste this a couple of times. And at some point we can't paste it anymore. All that you have to do is to create a second text element and then continue with your text. So copy and paste the text that comes after the character limit for the first element was reached and then create a text to speech for this as well. Just make sure to have the same voice style. And here you can see we now have our second text element and you can in principle create unlimited of these. And that's all there is to adding an AI voice over in CapCut using inbuilt functions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.